to try and stop him from scraping his uh, his claws, his toes, on the pavements, which were bleeding, and so there was a bit of a sore inside. So that was my catalyst to get involved, hence the reason why I'm breaking for dogs and people, because I my, my trigger point was to try and help Joe my spring dog. Now, Reiki, I don't profess for one minute to say that Reiki will cure arthritis. In actual fact, nothing seems to cure arthritis. You can take um, medication to try and ease the problem and help with the mobility, but I find that Reiki can do that as well. And so I'll ask, that was my, my, my reason for getting involved. Now, animals respond as well to Reiki. Lots of people have, have heard of Reiki, but they tend to think that Reiki is for people. They don't necessarily appreciate that you can give Reiki to animals as well. Now, obviously, um, an awful lot of animals have the same kind of structure that as humans have, the same, uh, the same limbs, the same body organs. And as a result, they suffer from some of the similar uh, illnesses and ailments, whether it be emotional or whether it be physical. So, as I've said before, what Reiki can help from a physical point of view, so it can help to, uh, to ease pain, whether that pain is caused from, uh, from broken bones. So if they've had a broken, uh, a doctor had a broken bone and it's been set, then you can help to speed up the recovery process and help to reduce the pain element that the animal might be suffering. Uh, Monty, my current Springer, his picture's also been up in there, he's, uh, he's 13 now himself and he's got arthritis uh, in the base of his spine. And he actually comes up to me, probably half a dozen times a day, and points his backside to me so I can just put my hands on him. He literally just does that. And I put my hands on him and then he trots off again. So that's, that's him sensing there's something going on that's giving him some comfort.